the fact that there were so many there that needed help and that was a rescue, it just made me feel sick. <laughs> Following Tuesday's seizure of nearly 150 animals, including 52 horses from a rural Manitoba sanctuary, those in the local horse community have been left with mixed emotions. On one hand, thrilled that the animals have been saved, and on the other, heartbroken that their suffering was allowed to continue for so long. I, I had so many emotions at once. Kayla Wheeler says her ordeal with Barefoot began last year when she says she bought a horse from the ranch only to discover numerous health concerns once getting her home. Uh, I ended up calling a massage therapist out. I ended up getting a recommendation for someone in the area, and she uh, came down and said this horse was in too much pain for her to work on. After being assessed by her vet, Wheeler says the horse was diagnosed with a grade 3 out of 5 lameness. And at that point, I, I sort of felt a little gross. Um, she was sold to me as sound, and they were riding her, they were using her, and she was in pain. In her eyes, Wheeler feels there needs to be greater regulations in place to ensure that sanctuaries have the proper resources and facilities to care for their animals. It's heart, just heartbreaking for the animals, uh, what they've potentially gone through. A sentiment shared by Colleen Walker, owner of the Little Red Barn Sanctuary who says standards need to be implemented to properly define what qualifies as a rescue. To be feeding programs, veterinary care, all those things need to be in place before you hang the chimney and say you're a sanctuary. One of the biggest things is just having a barn, uh, proper fencing. That's, that's where you start with, with a sanctuary. It's really rare to see seizures of this magnitude happen. Uh, so I'm really grateful that law enforcement authorities took the matter seriously. Director of Legal Advocacy with Animal Justice, Caitlin Mitchell, commends the work of both law enforcement and the community in raising awareness and says what has occurred at Barefoot is just a small example of the lack of rights afforded to farm animals. What I see is a failure to protect all farmed animals, not just sanctuaries. And so I think what we really need are legal standards and actual enforcement of laws on all farms uh, across the province. City News spoke to the sanctuary's owner on Tuesday, who said she is complying with the investigation, but believes she will be cleared of all wrongdoing. In Winnipeg, Kurt Black, City News.